Welcome to a lesson on the fundamental theorem of calculus. The fundamental theorem of calculus states that if a function f is continuous on the closed interval from a to b, and big F is the antiderivative of little f on the same closed interval, then the def integral of f of x integrated with respect to x from a to b is equal to big F of b minus big F of A. So this states that we can determine the value of the def integral by using the antiderivative function. And here are some guidelines. Number one, provided we can find an antiderivative of f of x, the integrand function, we now have a much more efficient way to evaluate a def integral. Two, when applying the fundamental theorem of calculus, the following notation is often used where we first find the antiderivative function, big F of x, then this vertical bar means we evaluate this at b and then subtract the value at a. And three, it's not necessary to include the constant of integration c in the antiderivative because notice how if we did, when we find this difference, the constant would simplify to zero, leaving us with big F of b minus big F of a. Let's look at some examples. We want to evaluate the def integral and notice how the integrand function graphed here on the right is non-negative on the closed interval from one to three and therefore this def integral is equal to the area below the function bounded by the x-axis over this closed interval. And notice how this region is a trapezoid so we could evaluate this using the area formula for a trapezoid but let's use the fundamental theorem of calculus first. So to apply the fundamental theorem of calculus we first want to find the antiderivative of two x plus one with respect to x. So we'd have two times, this is x to the first, so we'd have x to the second divided by two plus the antiderivative of one with respect to x would be x. We now need to evaluate the antiderivative at three and then subtract the value of the antiderivative at one. But before we do this, let's go ahead and simplify here this simplifies to just x squared plus x. So now we evaluate the antiderivative first at three, then at one, and then find the difference. So when x is three, we'd have three squared plus three. When x is one, we'd have one squared plus one. Simplifying here, we have three squared plus three, that's twelve, minus, here we have one squared plus one, that's two, so the value of the def integral, which is also this area, would be ten. Now for this first example, let's verify these results using the area formula for a trapezoid given here. So let's call this b sub one, b sub two, and this would be the height of the trapezoid. So using our formula, we have the area is equal to one-half times the quantity b sub one plus b sub two, that would be three plus seven, and the height is two. So we have one-half times ten times two, which is ten. Verifying our answer is correct. Let's take a look at another example. Again, notice how the integrand function is non-negative over the closed interval from zero to three, so this def integral is equal to this area here. So applying the fundamental theorem of calculus, we'll first find the antiderivative of negative one-half x squared plus two x plus two with respect to x. So we'd have negative one-half times x to the third divided by three plus two times, this is x to the first, so we'd have x to the second divided by two plus the antiderivative of two with respect to x would be two x. So this is our antiderivative, which we now need to evaluate at three, then zero, then find the difference, but of course we'll simplify this first. So here we have negative one-sixth x to the third plus this would be x squared plus two x. So again, we'll evaluate this at three, and then subtract the value at zero. So when x is three, we have negative one-sixth 
times 3 to the third plus 3 squared plus 2 times 3. And when x is zero, notice how each term would be zero. So simplifying, we have this would be negative one-sixth times twenty-seven, which will write as twenty-seven over one. And then we have plus nine and then plus six. Notice how we have a common factor of three here. There's two threes and six and nine threes and twenty-seven. So here we have negative nine halves. This would be plus fifteen or plus fifteen over one. Common denominator is two, so we'll multiply fifteen over one by two over two. So we have negative nine halves plus thirty halves, which is twenty-one halves. So this is the value of the def integral, and because the integrand function is non-negative on the closed interval from zero to three, the area of the shaded region is twenty-one halves square units, or ten and a half square units. Let's take a look at one more example. We want to find the def integral of the square root of x plus four, integrate with respect to x from one to four. Once again, notice how the integrand function is non-negative on this closed interval, so the def integral is equal to this area here. Before we find the antiderivative though, we want to write the square root of x using rational exponents, where the exponent x is one, the index is two, so we can write this as the integral of x to the one-half plus four, integrated with respect to x from one to four. And now we'll find the antiderivative function with respect to x. So for x to the one-half, we'd have x to the power of one-half plus one, that's three-halves, divided by three-halves, plus the antiderivative of four is four x. But dividing by three-halves, is equivalent to multiplying by two-thirds. So I'll write this as two-thirds x to the three-halves plus four x. And now we need to evaluate this first at four, and then subtract the value at x equals one. So when x is four, we have two-thirds times four to the three-halves plus four times four. And then when x is one, we have two-thirds times one to the three-halves plus four times one. For four to the three-halves, that's equivalent to the square root of four to the third, which would be two to the third, or eight. So here we have two-thirds times eight, that would be sixteen-thirds plus sixteen. And then here we have two-thirds plus four, or plus four over one if we want. Let's write sixteen as sixteen over one as well. So pinning a common denominator of three here as well. We have sixteen thirds plus forty-eight thirds, which is sixty-four thirds, minus here we have two-thirds plus twelve-thirds, so minus fourteen-thirds, which is equal to fifty-thirds. So this is the value of our def integral, which again, because the integrand is not negative on this closed interval, is also the area of the shaded region. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.